Uh, welcome back to Who That? We're here going fishing with the lovely Sasha Laurel of Happy Foods. Happy Foods 242. I'm good. I'm great. We're in a good place. Gone fishing is one of my spots. Obviously, it was one of the shows that I did in season one, so I'm, I'm good. We're on the beach. We're in the Bahamas. Can't get no better than that. It actually was your fourth show. So yeah. tell us about, um, I know you, uh, we are we are journalists, but, uh, but tell us how did you get into, because you know, all of us love food, but you mm. made the next step. I, uh, you know, I'm going to document the good food in Bahamas. What, what made you take that step? Well, Happy Foods, it actually started from I was a young child. My parents always, as uh, it's, it's me and my brother. I have one other sibling, a bro- an older brother. And we, uh, we decided as a family that, you know, whenever there was a special occasion, Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthdays, we would go out. My dad always used to ask me, hey, Sasha, where you want to go? And they always exposed us to fine dining and good food, that sort of thing. Even when we weren't home, when we traveled, it was the same thing. We went to the best restaurants, ate some really good food. So it really started there. And then obviously, you know, I found that a lot of people would call me, hey, Sasha, I go into so-and-so place, what do you recommend? Oh, hey, Sasha, um, my boyfriend, his birthday coming up, where we should go? And then it just continued, colleagues, sorority sisters, random people, friends. And so I was like, okay, what? I need to do something with this. But at that particular point, I didn't have any time. I was fresh into my journalism career. And as a journalist, you know, you always work in. Even though you may be off, that may come in that call as soon as you get home you get that call you got to go somewhere so I just never had the time now after changing career paths a bit I decided okay you have a little bit more time my best friend she came to me and she was like Sasha you need to do something with this this year meaning 2014 so I thought about it and I called a friend of mine who had also come out of the profession meaning journalism and started to do some stuff on his own and he the thing that he said to me that really sparked putting this pen to paper and then executing it was that Sasha, the hardest thing you have to do is just start. Once you start, you'll be fine. You already have the knack. We could do all the other things for you. So I was like, okay. So I called up a few friends, call up Marissa and Joey from Mojo's, call up Erica from The Glass Kitchen, which would have been the first two episodes because they already know me. They know that I come in there. And they was like, yeah, let's do it. And so that's basically how it got started. So um, the name Happy Foods, uh, what was your career process in creating the name for it? Happy Foods. Um, whenever I go out to eat, if you don't see me smiling and laughing, that means the food isn't good. Um, and I just, I love food. And the only thing that I could, I, I wanted to have food in it. Obviously, I wanted to brand it in terms of putting 242 there so that, you know, as the show grew, people could recognize that we were trying to put the Bahamas on the map. And I tried to think of that one thing that always made me good about food, and it's just being happy. And so I put it together, Happy Foods 242, and that's where we got the name from. Um, the first season was, I think, about 13 episodes? The first season was 10 episodes. We had nine, what we would call regular episodes, and then we had a Christmas special that we did with the Hilton. So it pretty much, I think we started in October, October 1st last year. We, we did the recording for the first show, and then they would have started running after that. And then in December, we did... Um, It took a whole day, actually. We did something with the Hilton just for Christmas and showcasing what they had for the holiday season. So that took us to 10 shows for season one. Um, If you can, just take us through, not all, but but two or three or four of the spots you visited and your favorite part about that show. Well, all of the spots I visited were, you know, spots that I love. Um, Places that I already frequent. The Glass Kitchen. I mean, I remember... As a reporter at Love 97, I was just going there. I didn't even know Erica at that time, but just going there because the turkey burgers were awesome. So I know I wanted to include them. And she was awesome. She was open to the idea. Same thing with Mojo's. My cousin and Marissa worked together, and I hit up my cousin, and I said, you think they'd be interested? And she said, Sasha, the only thing they could say is yes or no. So I said, okay, well, let's try try them. So we did that. We did Dino's. That's the only place, one of few places that I eat Kung salad from, I think, Kunk. When, when you talk about fresh conch salad, conch is a very interesting thing. You can't eat it from everybody. You got to make sure it's clean and all that stuff. So I had to hit up Dino's and I wanted to do places that you don't see get the commercials. You know, you see KFC on TV, you see Wendy's and all those places. Some other places have the avenues to do commercials, but there are some places that just really don't have the revenue stream and just don't need it. So I decided to do Glass Kitchen. We did Mojo's. We did um, 
Tinos, we did Van Bruegels and, and a couple others and, and the show, it, it just, it took off itself. I didn't even think that it was going to take off as well as it did, but it just took off itself. And I, I know it, it was something special when my mother came to me and asked me, saying, Man, I'm Timothy, you see this? I said, yeah, I know her from, from school. She's like, oh, okay, but um, season two mm. um, kicks off tonight. Season two kicks off tonight. Um, we decided at the end of season one we wanted to do bigger and better. We didn't want to just stop the show. We were tired. We did take some time off. But we came. I came together with my team, and they actually told me, look, Sasha, we need to do something different with this. I was in... I, I'd be honest and tell you that I wasn't open to putting it on TV right away. I wanted us to perfect the product a lot more. But I'm the kind of person, as a leader, you sometimes have to take instructions from everybody else that's on your team. And we really have a team. And I have to shout out Jay, Kendrick, Sandina. Um, Leah would have helped us in our first season. Shakara is now with us for our second season. Lucy, who's my makeup artist. Jan, who's my hairstylist. I mean, everybody has a hand in the show it has nothing to do with me I'm just the host I'm just the face that you see but there are so many people that are part of the team and the team came to me and said Sasha we want this show to be elevated they told me we putting it on TV and I was like okay so we needed to do some more things so we did some groundwork trying to get sponsors we had sponsor letters out, out. and I'm proud to say that Collect is now the major sponsor for season two um, we negotiated with JCN JCN will be carrying the show so it premieres tonight JCN, Channel 14 at 8 p.m. Um, we got Shakara on board, so now United Colors of Benetton will be sponsoring the clothing that I'm wearing. So we're taking baby steps, and we're going to hit up, you know, some of the other places. Gone Fishing is one of those places that want to sponsor us, so we're going to try and work with them. And we'll be back to all the other places, and some, all of the restaurants have reached out to us. You know, we're just giving everybody time. You know, January is usually the worst part of of operating a business you coming out the holiday season people just don't have money so we're gonna wait until february but we have um an exciting season lined up we wanted to do what we want to do differently with season two too is come out of the box not just focus on restaurants and places that people should go that i like but also to focus on the bohemian entrepreneur you'll find that the first show which is with a guy by the name of kiwan miller He's a full-time chef at one of our local hotels here, luxury hotels here, and he does barbecuing on the side. And when I found out about him, I instantly went, you know, people said, Sasha, you got to try his food, you got to try his food, you got to try his food. And I was like, where is he located? Where am I going to find him? He does it once a week on a day that he is off. He doesn't know what that day is in advance because he gets his schedule every Friday, so you have to follow his Facebook page, follow his Instagram page, and that's something that he's just doing on the side because he loves it. Episode two, the cookie caterer. That's all he does for a living. So it's about exposing young people to young Bahamians doing their thing. And, and what I like about um, episode one and two, these are both young men, young Bahamians doing their part, not contributing to any of the negative parts of our economy or society, but contributing to what will make, um, you know, to, to just showcase the Bahamian man, that not all Bahamian men out there are bad. So... This season is going to open up a lot of doors. We, we have some surprises. We're going to do some things differently. Now the Collect is on board. You know, we're probably going to do some giveaways and do some different things with our social media. So it's going to be different. And, you know, we're already planning season three. We're already planning our October, our one-year anniversary. So this is something that we want to make profitable for all of us eventually. Like my team, I said it's not just me. I want to make it profitable for them. If someday I can say, you know what? Happy Foods is going to be my major source of income, then that's what it's going to be. And that's that's my goal. I used to tell um, Mac, like, Loki, I feel like 3 a.m. and who that had like a sound part of inspiring you. I don't know if that's true or not. But I will say that um, the second half of Happy Foods really inspired me to start back up who that because it was after like October. When you started Happy Foods, I, I ended who that. And I still taking a break and I must say that you inspired me to get back into it for the new year. And before I let you go out there, just let people know how they can find you, where they can watch you, and even get in contact with you. Okay, well, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all the same handles, Happy Foods 242. We're still on YouTube. Um, people ask me, you know, now that y'all on TV, y'all ain't going to be putting the episodes on YouTube. We're going to run the episodes on JCN on Saturdays, and it'll rerun on Tuesdays. And following that, we'll put the episodes up on YouTube. So we have a YouTube channel, Happy Foods Bahamas. You could just go and look us up. If you want us to come to you and showcase what you have, you can email us at happyfoodsbahamas at gmail.com or you could 
just look me up on Facebook, Sasha Laurel. Um, you know, we're, we're interested in helping everybody. And like I said, you know, our first season was done all out of pocket. And I, and I challenge anybody who wants to do anything, you know, just th like I said, um, the, the director of photography, Jay, also known as Lamont Johnson, but he goes by the stage name Jay Isaacs. He just told me, Sasha, the hardest thing for you to do was start. And that woke up something in me. I don't know what it was. I can't even tell you what it was. But that is honestly the truth. Like, all you got to do is just start and just take off. You know, so we have some exciting things and people are going to event. People like to support positive things. And so we know that our sponsorship will continue. I was a bit, you know, downtrodden at the beginning of the year because the sponsorship wasn't coming as it was. But God is on our side and Collect came on board and they're ready to go full throttle season two, season three and beyond. So, you know, I would encourage anybody who's doing anything, whether it be food, whether it be entertainment, whether it be sports, whether it be you know, fashion, go out there and do it, I mean, and have fun. I love what I do. I love food. So I wanted to amalgamate two of my passions, which was interviewing people, journalism, and eating. And and that's simply what it was. This has been Who That, and please support Happy Foods. Happy. Clap along if you feel like that's what you want to do.